We move on next to Taraba State, where government has announced plans to construct a world-class rehabilitation center to address the growing problem of drug abuse and illicit drug trafficking in the state. This decision comes after an alarming discovery that 64.1% of the youth in the state are involved in drug use. Furthermore, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency arrested 114 persons for drug abuse and seized 353.35 kilograms of various drugs between January and June this year, underscoring the urgency of the situation. Our correspondent uh, Jude Nuhu's report is presented from our studio. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, in Taraba State is holding this gathering to raise awareness among young people about the harmful effect of drug abuse and to encourage them to take a stand against illicit drug trafficking. The agency is concerned by the alarming increase in substance abuse among the youths aged 16 to 20. Just in the full six months of this year, 114 people have been arrested and 353.35 kilograms of various drugs have been seized across the state. The state commander says 90% of crimes are linked to drug abuse and illicit drug trade. However, the agency faces significant challenges as communities are often unwilling to provide information on drug-related matters and sometimes even attack officers during operations, thereby shielding criminals and perpetrating insecurity. The command is faced with the challenge of communities not willing to provide useful information to NDLA on drug matters, but are sometimes found in the habit of attacking and mobbing officers while on operations, thereby shielding the criminals and sustaining insecurity in the state. The command is challenged by inadequate office facilities, inadequate operational logistics, funds, and is in their need of treatment, counseling, and reputation center to cater for drug addicts in Taraba State. A state university study found that 64.1% of young people in Taraba State engage in drug abuse. The report identified several contributing factors. So you can see the highest, about 40.6% of drug abusers in Taraba State started it at the ages of 16 to 20 years. And of course, we know that it's secondary school age, secondary school to university age. So the first time they abused drug was when they were ages 16 to 20 years. Surprisingly, 2.8% started abusing drugs when they were less than two. Based on the findings, the state government has declared the issue endemic and is urgently working to set up a rehabilitation center to address the problem. We cannot turn a blind eye to the suffering and devastation caused by substance abuse but must confront this challenge with determination, compassion, and collective action. Governor Kefasi's strong support for anti-drug campaigns, rehabilitation programs, and community-based initiatives aimed at preventing drug abuse have set a commendable example for us all. His vision for a drug-free Taraba state, coupled with the ministry's dedicated work, is a testament to our collective commitment to creating a safer, healthier and more prosperous future for our state. On this International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking, I call on all Tarabans to rally behind the efforts of Governor Kefas and our state first resolve to combat the drug epidemic in Taraba State. The government is hopeful that the agency's measures will help combat crime and disrupt the supply chain, thereby restoring order across all aspects of society.